What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model this cool bench that lights up. So it will be a simple bench family but we're also going to be adding some light families to light it all up and make it look a, a, a bit cooler. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to be using, a, this will be a family, so just I'm just going to start a new family and for the template let's just drop back a folder because I want to use the metric template. So here I'm just going to search for a simple metric uh, furniture family and because I guess I would like to uh, characterize a bench as a uh, as just a family or a furniture. So just let's open it up and now when it opens up I like to set the units immediately so as soon as Revit starts up, come on, let's go. Okay, uh, just type in UN and then I'm just going to be setting units to something like uh, centimeters because that works for this project. But anyway, let's now start modeling. So. Uh, first, uh, let's add some reference planes just to give us an idea of the dimensions. So just go here to reference plane and let's place one here, let's place one here. And now for the distances, let's go with 30 centimeters from the center here as well. So it will be a 60 centimeter wide bench and I'm going to be uh, making it so the, the length of the bench can change. So it will be a parametric family. So let's just go here for reference plane do one here, one here, and then this will be able to change. So let's add some constraints or dimensions, do one like this, hit EQ, now this is equal, now do one more, place it here, and let's add a parameter, so let's just call this, uh, I don't know, just bench length. hit OK. OK, so once we have this, now we can change this parameter and uh, it will be over here so uh, we'll be able to change it. And uh, for the width it will just stay the, stay the same. And uh, let's just go to front elevation and uh, here let's add some reference planes. To, so go to create reference plane or just the shortcut RP and uh, I'm going to place one like this uh, 10 centimeters off the ground. This is the place where the lights will be. Then I'm going to have another one uh, over here like this and this will be something like at 30 centimeters from the ground or maybe 35. Yeah, I guess 35 works better. And then I just do one final top one uh, that will be at, uh, let's see, uh, let's place it at 40 centimeters off ground. So let's call this wood and this concrete and this one let's just call it base. Okay, so once I have these uh, height parameters set or height reference plane set, I can now go, go into modeling. So let's go back into reference level and uh, let's go to create and just do extrusion and let's start off with the middle one. So set the work plane to uh, the, uh, the concrete one and just do a rectangle from one corner to the other and then lock everything in place so it will be uh, constrained and parametric and now just go to front elevation, lock this one to this here uh, reference plane and lock this to this here reference plane. So just lock it in place. Now go back into a reference level, uh, let's continue, go to create, extrusion and uh, again a rectangle. Let's give it an offset of something like uh, 10 centimeters for example and go again from corner to corner just hit space and just finish it like that and now let's constrain this to the outside edges so just go into align the dimensions and you go from the outside uh, reference plane to the inside line and uh, you just create your uh, little uh, your little dimension and then you just need to select those dimensions and just lock them so the the proportions of the base will change with the proportions of the bench. So just hit finish, go back into front elevation and again set this down over here, lock it in place, set this here, lock it in place. Okay, so one more thing, we need to do the wood top part and then we can start adding all of the lighting. So for the top part, let's go reference level, 
let's go to create extrusion uh, set the work plane to that wood reference plane and let's just do series of uh, like planks like this let's see they should be yeah let's do them at six centimeters with maybe a couple of centimeters in between so just go copy co is the shortcut multiple and go yeah like eight eight again eight again and then select all of these go copy copy from here to here from here to here okay and we've got a, a bit of an access over here but that's no problem maybe we can move this just uh, a little bit or maybe make the the last one a bit wider over here yeah I guess this looks a bit nicer maybe we can actually make this a bit even wider yeah I think this will look cool okay but anyway so we've got this finished and what you just need to do is you need to align all of these to the reference uh, plane and lock it in place so you just go like that lock that in place again go to the reference plane lock it in place and do the same thing for all of these little t uh, little ones so just that lock it in place lock it in place and I think this one is already locked okay okay now everything's locked here and here you can go maybe with the align tool multiple align so you select this align lock align lock align lock align lock align lock and align and yeah you guessed it lock okay so we've finished that continue on you must have closed loops okay let's see what's the problem uh, do we have okay here we've got a problem yeah this isn't closed so just close that and just finish it okay now it's uh, probably smart to test this family out so uh, let's just see okay as you can see first uh, this is too tall so let's just go to front elevation and uh, here instead of 25 let's just set it to minus uh, 4 yeah this looks a lot better and now if we go into 3d yeah this looks a lot nicer okay uh, so let's just flex this family that's uh, what you call when you change uh, the parameters so let's change this to something like 200 centimeters hit apply let's see yeah everything works let's just change it one more time to make sure let's try 250 hit ok yeah I think this everything works fine okay so the next step will be to add the the lighting so to do that uh, let's just create a new family for that so let's just go to file new uh, family and here I'm just going to drop back again to use the metric uh, templates and uh, let's find a metric lighting fixture open that up and you don't really need to uh, model too much you've got your light source and that's pretty much uh, everything you need but I like to add just a little bit of geometry just to have something visible uh, to use uh, in the model so let's just go to create extrusion and I usually like to create just a, a little circle like this now let's just make it even smaller something like this okay you finish it you go to front elevation and yeah let's make it a lot smaller yeah kind of like this and uh, let's bring this down underneath that oops cancel out of that okay so it should look something like this uh, the reason this is above the light source is because the light source will be shining down so that's the point of the bench uh, so we've got our little uh, geometry to be able to see it we've got our light source and let's just uh, change the parameters for the light so let's go here and uh, maybe make this a bit more white so change this to 4000 and here let's let's do this at 2000 okay hit ok hit apply ok uh, make sure that uh, you go over here in the properties panel and check shared uh, family hit apply load into project and go over here and place it pretty much anywhere and here again uh, just so you don't forget uh, check shared as well this will make it able so the light family will shine sometimes it doesn't want to shine when it's loaded in a different project but anyway let's just go to front elevation and here we're just going to attach our geometry uh, yeah let's attach to this like this uh, now the problem is uh, we need to make this 
a change uh, with the length of the bench and that's the tricky part so to do that uh, let's just go here to create and uh, let's go to reference plane and place one plane over here like this and one on the other side and yeah let's make them equal and now for this distance let's set it at five centimeters and uh, here as well uh, let's go five centimeters and now let's dimension that so di is the shortcut for dimensioning and uh, place this dimension here and lock it in place and do the same thing over here and always start from the outside from the big uh, reference plane to the smaller one anyway so now when this changes uh, these reference planes will move with it so now you need to attach this to the reference plane so just go al for align align it like this lock it in place and then copy this to the other side or maybe copy it like this and then again align it al is the shortcut align it lock it in place and and now maybe bring this in a bit like that bring this in as well and uh, now i'm just going to go uh, select one of these go into copy and uh, let's just copy it a few times uh, over here just to have uh, enough lighting on this uh, side of the bench and now select the uh, the furthest one over here and the furthest one on the bottom and go here to array and you just select the this one and you move it and here you change this number to something like let's type in I don't know 30 and here change this to last and move it all the way here and now we just need to attach it to this uh, reference plane over here so just go AL again for align and align this to that lock it in place and uh, as you can see now everything is aligned now when you select one of these lights you're going to get this uh, number 30 this is the number of, uh, of repeating uh, lights and you go over here and you go to label add parameter and let's just call this NO for number of lights hit OK and then go here into the family types dialog and here as you can see this is bench light uh, let's make sure that number of lights is uh, bench light divided by 10 OK hit apply OK and this will allow you to change the number of lights as the as the whole uh, bench changes and uh, just these lights over here we forgot about them uh, so you need to go to align uh, check multiple align and then uh, align all of these and lock them in place so just do that and do the same thing on the other side okay I didn't align the last one AL align okay and uh, just go create component or maybe we can just copy these maybe that's the best solution for our problem select these and just go copy and you copy them to the other side and uh, you just copy them a bit further from this uh, reference line and then go again align and you align this one this one and make sure to lock every each one of them let's see Okay, so everything is locked into place and everything works. So if I go into 3D, this is what this looks like. And now let's uh, load it into project. And before we do that, let's just set the materials. Don't forget about that. So let's change the material of the wood to some, well, wooden material. So I like to use this birch wood. So I, that's what I'm just going to be using. And for the rest of it, let's go into hidden line. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky with all these lights to select everything, but you select these two and let's change the material to some concrete. Let's see. Let's see what we have. Cast in place. Yeah, I prefer these cast and plate concrete materials. Hit apply, OK. And now once we're finished, we can load this into a project. So let's start off a new project in Revit. Yeah, yeah, let's use construction template. Who cares? Uh, let's make a floor. So just do that. Just a simple floor. And uh, let's load in our family. So load into project, project one, hit OK. And just place it like that. Okay, so once you have this family, let's go into 3D. 
this is what it looks like. Maybe we can go into realistic. Yeah, it looks really nice. And, and now let's try some night rendering. So yeah, maybe we can stay here in 3D. Just type in RR. Make sure you set it to medium or high when uh, rendering lights or even best because lights usually look like ugly at draft. And yeah, let's set it to printer and for the uh, for these settings go to interior uh, artificial only and then we'll see what it looks like when it lights up. Let's render. And there you go. Now because uh, this is the only light source over here, the top is a bit darker, but anyway, if you change it and add some more lights, it will look a lot more realistic. And I like it. It looks really cool. It looks like the whole uh, concrete bench is kind of flying or hovering in the air. But anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you want to download this family or any of my projects, check out my Patreon first link in the description. You can download all of my project files, over 150 files so far. Okay, that's pretty much it and I'll see you tomorrow.